Hi, welcome on this video. And here you're going to learn how to create an infinite loop inside of Webflow. And you can use that for texts, for images, for patterns, for links, for whatever you want. It's actually pretty simple to do, but what it requires is one to two tricks that I'm going to show you right now. And also I'm gonna put in the description a project so you can clone it inside your Webflow project. So to be able to create this animation, the first thing we have to do is to create a parent that would hold all the elements in place. And we're going to do that by dragging a div block that we are going to call wrapper. And this wrapper will set its width to 100 view width. So it's taking 100% of the viewport. And let's set its size to, let's say, 600 pixels. Now what we need to do is to add another div block inside the wrapper that's going to hold the moving elements. So we drag a second div block and we're going to call this loop container. What we need to do now is to set this loop container to flex, horizontal, center, align the center, and justify start. So it's going to be centered and it's going to be starting from the left-hand side. And we're going to set its, view, uh, its width to 100% of its parent and 100% for the height as well. So now we can start placing the elements that we want to loop. So for this demonstration, I'm going to set up text. So let's call this welcome. And I'm going to change a bit of these things. I'm going to set margin on the right hand side so it doesn't just stick to one another. So let's set the size to maybe 80 pixels. Seems fine and run 100% for its height. And I'm just gonna create multiple blocks like this. This one to make a differentiation, let's call this Bienvenue. I'm going to duplicate it once again. Bienvenido. And one more just for fun. We're going to call this Hello with a W. So let's say we just want these four things to keep on scrolling infinitely. What we have to do is to first duplicate all these elements. And to do that, the best solution that I found is to actually put all of these inside a container and then just duplicate the container. So I'm going to do that, div, and let's call this content holder. And I'm just going to drag this to the top and I'm going to put all the containers inside, all the text inside of them. And as you see right now, it's like displaying all of these like this, but we want to set them to you horizontally, so what we have to do is to go back to the same thing. So display flex, horizontal center, justify on the start. And now I'm just going to copy and paste that. So now we have two content holders, so we have actually eight pieces if we scroll like this. But obviously we don't want to be able to scroll. So as you can see here, I'm scrolling to the right hand side, but you don't want to be able to scroll like this. So what you need to do to fix that is to go to the wrapper and you just set the overflow to hidden. So now I cannot scroll. And actually now we can start setting up the animation. So what you need to do is to set up the, the element trigger and the element trigger is going to be on the wrapper and you're going to click on the plus icon and scroll into view. And you want to set this up on a scroll into view and not on a page load because I've seen people do that on page load, set up this animation on page load, but unfortunately, if you set it up this way, it may slow your website down as you first start loading the website. But what you want is actually just kickstart the animation right when you, the person is actually viewing this wrapper, right? Otherwise, it's not necessary. So the action is going to be start a new animation and we're going to create one from scratch and we're going to call this looping texts. First thing we have to do is to take the loop container and we're going to set its initial state. So we click here on initial state and we set that on zero pixel. So what it does is you want it to stay exactly like this. So now we need to set up a second move with the same loop container. And what you want to do is actually uh, move it so we want to scroll to the left hand side to keep on this infinite loop like this. And what you want to do is to offset it, to move it up until the welcome of the second content holder matches its, this current view of the first content. So let's move that by, let's say, uh, 1,800 pixels. Oh, it's very close. So this one is actually the second content holder. If I move over it, you can see like it's highlighting. It means that it's the pr proper one. But now I need to align it to match it, the first view. So maybe it's going to be 850, not a bit too much, 1030. A bit too much, 22, a bit too little. So here, 
minus eight, 1825 uh, for this particular animation seems to be right. I'm going to set the duration to 10 seconds, even let's say 15 seconds. We are almost done. So now what we need to do is actually to set up the loop container back to its original place once this animation is done. So how we do that is again, place a move and we set up the X to zero pixels with no duration. So it snaps back immediately into place. We click on done, we set it to loop and we can preview it. So now, as you can see, it's actually a loop that's infinite. And we, this is the first content, right? The first four part, and this is second, but straight, actually the first one is coming back into place. So it's looping infinitely. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you liked it, please leave a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what you would like to see next.